Hi, my name is Abby and I'm a PhD student at the University of Leeds and my research looks into the placenta. If you want to find out more about the placenta, what it is and why we research it, then you can view my research nights in video below. But today we're going to do some placenta themed printing activities. If you could not receive a kit from us, then it's fine. We do have a simplified mono printing activity which, that you can do with equipment that should be more easily available to you. So for this version, um, you can use some items that might be more easily available to you. So you can use um, just a sandwich bag, some um, cotton wool buds, and just any kind of standard paint, so like children's paint, acrylic paint, just a good thick, um, not a watercolour or anything like that, but a good thick paint will work. So I'm going to use a blue one in this case. Um, so same as before, it's probably useful if you tape down. sandwich bag. So this kind of works in a similar way to the um, to the acetate and you could also use this to roll out the ink um, if you did have printing ink as opposed to um, paint. So you just want to, um, as I mentioned before, spread your paint onto sandwich bag and you don't want too much that it gets all sticky but you want just enough um so what you need to do is you need to get your cotton wool bud to remove the ink so i'm just going to show you tell you a little bit more about the umbilical cord so the umbilical cord is what connects the placenta to the fetus so say so this is the umbilical cord here um and this is branching into the placenta very simple diagram <laughs> So within the umbilical cord, we have the umbilical vein, which branches off into these tree-like structures that I mentioned before. And the umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood, which has come from the mother. So at this side, we will have the maternal veins, the maternal arteries, which supply blood to this interval of space. And the umbilical vein takes this back to the um, fetus. But also within the umbilical cord, we have two umbilical arteries. So two of these. And these are what supply the blood um, from the fetus to the placenta. So a very simplified diagram of the placenta. So then we've got the um, image. So we just need to get our piece of paper and layer that on top and this time we need to press it down because we want the paint to go onto the paper. I'm getting all of my hands. So then when you remove it, you should have your design on the paper.
you did receive a kit, you should have a pre-carved piece of liner, which we have made for you. So there's a few different designs. Some of them have been made by myself and some of them have been made by Rachel, a postdoctoral researcher in our lab group. Um, each design is slightly different and they're all related to our research. So in your pack, you should also have a fact sheet which will explain more detail behind the design and what, what it's all about. So if you manage to receive a kit from us, then you should have all the equipment you need to do liner printing and monoprinting. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do some monoprinting, which is using your piece of acetate that has been given. Um, I have just cleaned up the brayer to, um, so we can use a different colour for this version, and I've also just got one of my own trays, which is slightly different to yours, just um, because I haven't cleaned up the other one yet. Um, so I think I'm going to use a nice orange colour that I um, mixed the other day and um, for this I think this isn't included in your kit and it's fine, you don't necessarily need it but if you have any kind of tape, masking tape or I have this kind of strong tape that I've been using to seal the ink pots this might be quite useful just to make sure your piece of acetate doesn't move around too much so you can stick it in place. It's kind of hard to see. Um, obviously you can do this on any kind of table. All the ink is easily wiped off so you don't necessarily need a mat like this. Um, this is just what I use for carving my liner. Um, so to start with I'm just again going to get out some of the ink. Um, so you can just see a nice bit of orange there. And again just take a little bit of it and give it a good um, roll. So all you do this time is you actually put your ink all over your piece of acetate. So you probably need quite a bit more than that. Probably even more than that as well. So once you've got your ink fully layered, um, so it does need to be enough and also you don't want to take too long in case it starts to dry out. So this time what you need to do is take a piece of your paper and just gently layer that on top and you don't want to press down on it or anything, you just want to layer it on the top and then you're going to take your pencil and you're going to do any kind of design you want onto your um, onto your piece of paper but you want to make sure you don't press your hand down onto the paper you just want to kind of hold it over so you don't press into the ink so the placenta is um, responsible for supplying blood um, to the fetus during pregnancy so it's highly vascularized, which means it contains lots of blood vessels that are responsible for the um, transfer of blood throughout our bodies. Um, and that's one of the main um, important things about the placenta. So if you kind of looked at the placenta and if you printed the placenta itself, you would see this kind of tree-like structure. So these are all the different blood vessels um, within the placenta. So you want to make sure you're pressing down hard enough for it to pick up on the ink. But once you've had a go at this, you can draw absolutely anything that you would like to draw. So then all you do is you peel it off very slowly. And then there you have um, a nice monoprinted placenta. So I think the um, this technique is really cool because even though you kind of get some of the background, um, it adds kind of a nice effect to the monoprint. So in your kit, you should have um, many pieces of A5 paper. 
You should also have an A5 piece of acetate, which is going to be mainly used for the monoprinting activity. You should have a pencil and um, a liner brayer or roller. So this is what's used to roll the ink out onto your um, piece of acetate or into a tray. You should also have different um, two pots of different coloured inks. And you should have a piece of pre-carved liner that we've carved for you. You'll also have um, this probably the largest thing in the box, which is the, um, the plastic tray, which is used for rolling your ink onto. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to print um, the lino carving that you have. So to start with, um, what we need to do is we need to get our plastic tray. I can move the pencil out of the way. And we need to use, um, we need to get out some of our ink. So I'm going to use this pink colour that I have. So this tip has been used um, just to try and keep the ink in. Apologies if it has gone a little bit sticky. Um, it's best for you to try and do this activity as soon as possible after. Um, after receiving uh, your... So this is an old pot that I've been using for a while. Uh, I mixed with different colours. So there's not that much in there, but you should have more ink than that. Um, so you can kind of play around with the ink a little bit to start with. And then you can use uh, the brayer to roll the ink out. Um, so you just start by going down and just rolling it from side to side. So you don't want to put too much ink on because it'll get really sticky and tacky. But if you just get it to a nice consistency, so it kind of you can hear this like noise <laughs> where it sounds like it's um, nice and evenly spread, and then you should be able to see that on your brayer that it's kind of nicely spread throughout. So I'm kind of ignoring this sticky bit at the top. And then what you do is you'll take your piece of liner and make sure you have your piece of paper ready as well. So one piece of paper ready, you can put here. And you're gonna roll, Let's just quickly get a bit more ink on there, and then you're just gonna roll it carefully onto your piece of liner. So you can best thing to do is kind of add it in layers so don't add too much on. Um, to start with. So I like to add a few layers and go in different directions. Um, now often the first time that you print it can be a little bit faint and the more that you do um, the better it will be. So I kind of like to position this where I want it to be and you can either print it this way or you can um, pick up your piece of paper and layer it on top. Um, so obviously if you want to make a really nice print you maybe want to make sure your hands are clean and everything before you touch the paper. Um, so I'm just going to do it like this, this way to start with. And then just give it a really good press down. Um, so some people use the back of a wooden spoon um, to rub this on. Um, obviously you can see that I've got a bit of pink on the back of the paper. So when you're trying to be really careful, I like to have um, just like a, a washcloth or um, an antibacterial wipe or something just to clean my hands with um, to make sure it doesn't make a mess. Um, so once you've done that, you can then peel the paper off. And there you go, you should have a nice uh, print of the placenta. So when you've done your liner print, um, if you want to use another colour, uh, you can wash it off easily with soap and water, because um, these are water-soluble inks. So I'm just cleaning up my uh, workspace, um, so it might be useful to have an old towel, which is what I use, or you can use kitchen roll, and just have some um, wipes or um, a piece of cloth for you to use to clean up.
So thanks for joining in with the printing activity and I'd also like to thank um, the public engagement team at the university for helping fund uh, this project and thanks for watching.